also, I am doing this video <laughs> to document myself right now, <laughs> where I just feel so heartbroken because <laughs> I need to, I need to do a man man detox for <laughs> the rest of this year at least. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's. I'm one of those people who wants to, like, love and be loved so bad, <laughs> but it's so hard to find, and I don't know why it's so hard to find for me. I don't know if it's bad karma from, you know, stripping and escorting and, you know, doing all that bad stuff back in my past or <laughs> what it is, but... <laughs> Guys, just <laughs> love to use... And, um, like, use me, and I hate it. And it's such a bad cycle, and I cannot break it. I keep finding assholes. And I really was, I just kind of make this video right now, because... I feel so bad. And I just think at this time, it's like, this is when I just need to... You know, I pray and I go to church and I pray that God gives me strength to not go back to assholes and users. And I do and I just, I can't find the strength that I need it right now. And I just pray to God. And he gives me the strength to stop this awful, erratic behavior and unsafe behavior of just these random guys. And I hate it. I hate it so much. And it feels like I'm out of control sometimes. Um. <laughs> My heart just keeps getting, like, played with. And it's just, I hate it so much. It's like. It's almost like it's becoming normal, and I hate that feeling, too. Like, this is the norm to just be treated like a shit by guys. <laughs> I mean, it's not even like, you know, I've been cheated on. I feel like, well, that's normal, cheated on. I've been cheated with. Someone has a girlfriend. I'm like, that's, yeah, that's totally normal. That's totally okay. <laughs> and whenever I date someone, I always feel like, they make me have sex with them, and I don't want to well, some of the time, and it's too soon, and I just... <laughs> and everyone's so damn promiscuous out here in L.A. It's just like, stop. It's so... <laughs> it's just so, like, dangerous and stupid and mean and cruel. I hate it. <laughs> I, I just feel like I'm always going to be one of those people who always needs love and validation from guys, and I hate that. I hate that so much. Sometimes when I make this like video entry diary and I see myself like this, <laughs> like how much it hurts me and how much like I, I just, <laughs> I just get like out of control. I just I can't take it. I keep going back to losers and assholes and people who are just using me. <laughs> My heart. It is so fragile, and it just keeps getting ripped at and tugged at and played with, and I just hate it. And it's like, it makes me feel like I'm going crazy. It's just like, I just feel like I'm going to be in therapy for the rest of my life. This is why I can never have kids. It's like, I'm just, I feel like I'm so messed up from all this. And I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I worked at a strip club and I see all the awful men who cheat on their girlfriends and wives and just are nasty and <laughs> and girls get so many diseases there. It just it breaks my heart. And it's like I don't know how to stop it. I don't know how to break a cycle like this. 
<laughs> so many of you are like, it's the way you portray yourself and maybe you're right. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe I put myself too much out there and expose myself too much and it's just asking for it. I don't know. <laughs> I know. It's like, I know. In my head, I feel like I have a lot going for me, but clearly it's just like inside. I just feel worthless if I keep wanting people to use me like this and I just hate it so much, but... I don't know. I just, I just needed to make this to like, when I wake up in the morning to not, not answer texts from guys who are users or you know, from guys who just want sex because I can no longer handle sex. I can't handle casual sex. I can't. anything for a like, god to just take control of my life. I just give up. I just, I just, I need to put all my faith in God and that is so hard to do and I don't know why. And when he's, I've been there before and he's helped me and I just, I just want to make this for my own strength and also to just, as many prayers as I can get just for strength <laughs> to not continue with this cycle. <laughs> it just feels so bad. If you are married to a good man or have a good boyfriend, you know, don't let him go. You know, appreciate him. <laughs> and, um, if you have a good girlfriend or a good wife, appreciate her. You know, just love each other. Just give each other love. Give your kids all the love. Give them so many hugs. Especially dads, just give your daughter so much love and so many hugs because they need them. <laughs> I would do anything for a hug right now. <laughs> love you guys and I just hope you guys find the right path in life and you don't have to do things that I've done <laughs> and just remember God is good <laughs> you know he is because <laughs> even right now I can feel God telling me that it will be okay I just need to calm down and it will be okay. <laughs> and I'll be okay too. <laughs> I can feel it from God. And I should have gone to church tonight. <laughs> I was supposed to go. And I did it. <sighs> I could use prayers and love and just <laughs> so much right now. And I need it all. So just pray and I pray for you guys I do everyone even the one who leaves me bad comments and nasty comments I pray for everybody because I want everybody to be happy I don't want people to be lonely and hurt in this world it's just so painful <laughs> but life is good and life is worth living and God has me here for a reason, and I don't know what that is yet. I don't really know what my purpose is, but I just want to make him proud. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying, because it's actually happy. I feel, I feel better. I feel better. And 
I just, I don't blame the guys in my life. I pray for them too. I, you know. Oh gosh, this is crazy. Um. So Trisha, <laughs> I'm looking at you right now, girl. You look a hot mess, <laughs> but you are really beautiful. <laughs> God really loves you. God has pulled you through so many things. <laughs> And God loves you so much. <laughs> and you're going to get through this. <laughs> and maybe it'll take six months or six years, 16 years, or maybe you'll find the answer in heaven one day with God that <laughs> you'll know why this was worth it, why you had to go through this right now. And I love you, Trisha. I love you a lot. Yeah. <laughs>